Hi there, crypto fans. Dick Allgaier here in Honolulu, Hawaii with a brand new Aloha shirt and a brand new channel. This channel is called Crypto Viewing, two words. You ever have a really bad day? I mean like a really, really bad day where you wake up and somebody kicks you right between the legs really hard? There was once a popular channel that talked about remote viewing and talked about cryptocurrencies. It had 5 million views, it had 35,000 subscribers and a nice income stream for someone. And it published something that somebody didn't like. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that today. And I call this, what a long strange trip it's been. I wanna to talk to you about the genesis of my long strange trip into remote viewing and it begins on a dirt not a dirt road but a not a really well upkept road kind of a road that you'd see 60 miles 60 years ago yeah 60 miles 60 60 miles out in the country 60 years ago and next to this road is a stone wall and it's not really well you know the stones are old and it's in places they're they're they were crumbling and this was a blind remote viewing target that i had been given a number of years ago i had no idea what it was but i found myself in this place and it was like soft hills in the distance a couple of trees really nice place out in the country beautiful countryside okay here's the trees and as I looked around I saw headstones gravestones so I knew that this was a cemetery a cemetery out in the country in a pretty remote place next to a there was a road and this crumbling wall and one in one of the graves there had been someone buried here who was buried anonymously and that turned out to be an important historical target and I, I, I did about an hour and a half remote viewing and told this fantastic story that revolved around somebody being buried anonymously dying old and it didn't conform to the generally accepted view of history so I published that out and I did a couple of radio interviews with it and after one of the radio interviews I was contacted by someone who had a third party that wanted to talk to me so I had a discussion with this third party about this and he said Dick you've got quite a skill that was that was excellent remote viewing because we know that place and we know that it looks just like that and that story was true and then he said you need to be careful you have an amazing skill but it needs to be wielded with some caution and some care this is because there are gatekeepers there are people who travel this world to make sure that the official narrative, the official history, the, the official record, the official educational curriculum, everything about what is known on earth conforms to an uh, orderly administration of things. So best not to call too much attention to certain things like this. And in the course of the conversation, the guy said, Dick, people with your skills have always been taken care of. And so what, what you might be interested in looking at, like this, this, you might consider this, would be this new world of something called cryptocurrency. And at the time, I had heard of Bitcoin, but I had no knowledge of cryptocurrency. And what was suggested to me was that we were going to witness the transition of the financial system and that anyone who invested in certain cryptocurrencies would do very well, would be in a position where they could just sit back and remote view to their heart's content and not have to worry about making any money. And so that 
spawned a channel called crypto viewing where we were documenting the transition of the financial system and along the way one of the things I learned was that you have this thing called this bright shiny thing called truth now the truth is relative and sometimes sub subjective uh, certain people can have different versions of the truth but the truth can be this shining this shining thing but it needs to be treated with caution sometimes it's not allowed that you can just go land straight on it and tell the whole thing um, because many people don't have the eyes to see or the ears to hear so what you can do is you can do a flyover and look down and see it and you can tell a little bit about what you saw or you can sneak up on it from a different direction and train your binoculars on it and you can tell a little bit about what you saw or maybe you can just come out with it but in a in a way that like spell it backwards and hint at it and that'll be allowed so we were doing pretty well at that and then we just completed a new remote viewing project and I'm going to give you a little teaser of this and I'm going to I need to be very careful because um, we went a little too far with it. it it's a it's a very sensitive subject not not UFOs this particular UFO thing and so I was given a blind tasking I wasn't told it was a UFO I was just given a target ID 0202 MW01 and I closed my eyes and I saw this I looked at that and I said oh damn I know really they gave us that so I looked and I saw it again and I looked at the people that were interacting with it watching it on us I we did four viewers yeah several hours of live like this at remote viewing of this and so we were cutting a promo and the promo got uploaded privately it was not monetized it was not shared and I woke up in the morning and it was a very bad day for me so we have this new channel we have this new project that's coming out that project is going to it's not ready yet um, what we do is we do great uh, financial information cryptocurrency information woo woo targets strange history we go we come at this from all different directions in a very careful manner but we are able to publish it privately on patreon.com slash crypto viewing and we have a private website that is even one level deeper than that but um, this new project here's what I saw and this was the tasking photo so that's going to be some spectacular stuff coming out I'm not going to be ready for a couple of weeks for now this is the new channel we want to be sure that we are very careful we want to be good uh, how do I say this we want to be good community citizens we want to adhere to the community guidelines above all we want to promote diversity we want to promote equity we love uh, sustainability we love inclusion and did I mention the most important thing is a sustainable future so that's what we're all about and we're going to adhere and conform to the community guidelines and do a great job please like and please subscribe and please show this to your friends this is our new channel more soon Aloha.